Hey, I'm Bryce, this is Replay, and we're about to get stuck in for the very first time to Lil Nas X's Montero. I have been waiting for this album for so long. You can't deny the rollout of this album has been perfect. He's played every single move perfectly. He knows what to do, what to say, how to run the internet. The snippets that I've heard have been really exciting of just him in the studio with Take A Day Trip, the producers. And these features seem incredible. Elton John, Megan Thee Stallion, Doja, Miley. All right, track one, the title track, Montero, Call Me By Your Name. I mean, if you haven't heard the song, you've seen the video. Welcome to Montero. Romantic talking, you don't even have to try. This is a song that he was playing snippets of early. You know, we're talking last year, I think. He was in his car being like, man, love this song. He has had this like for nine months. He knew the shoes would do well. He knew the video would go wild. Perfect. When the first EP dropped, it was maybe he felt like he was in his shell a little bit. He didn't want to ruffle too many feathers, you know? It's hard because he's talked about coming out in, in public and talking about how that was a super scary thing to do. And this song, he just went, no feathers, we're just shaving the chicken, let's go. There's something about that register that's so sexy as well, that that You can be driving this in summer, or you can be getting your cheeks clapped to this song. Can we say that? <laughs> This song really lets you know straight away, this is a pop album. I don't know if that's gonna be a controversial thing to say, but he says in Holiday, that song, pop star, but the rappers still respect me. Lil Nas X is a pop star. I think this is gonna be a very versatile album. We're gonna get the hip hop tracks, but Montero, clearly he can go there. Then we get to track two, Dead Right Now. I'm on your head right now. You wanna fuck with me so bad. Here we go. This is the story, right? He was making songs and it wasn't doing anything. Old Town Road, of course, changed his life. But before then, talking about how he's got fractured relationships and kind of struggling with money and, and really trying to make the music thing happen. We're kind of getting a lot more detail about it now, which is sick. My mama told me that she loved me, don't believe her. When she get drunk, she hit me up man, with a fever like, whoa. That's pretty personal. Sounds like his mum wasn't a big supporter, possibly. I know there was pressure for him to get a job and stop trying with the music. Come on, get over it. Let's go. Let's get your life happening. Let's get your career happening. Imagine being his mum, hearing that. I respect the, the going there. Yeah. Around the time Old Town Road was blowing up, there was famous artists dying, he was saying. He genuinely was scared he was going to die. The success was going to mean he was going to die in very simple terms. We're getting personal. Beautiful arrangement, composition, take a day trip, take a bow, for God's sake. All right, and then we get to probably my number one song of the year. I have not stopped playing this. We're going with Jack Harlow. This is Industry Baby. Again, the music video. You played into his hands if you hated this. He knew what the fans would say, he knew what the haters would say. Someone think of the children. Put on Coco Melon, dude. I agree. Not enough horns in hip hop, man. Drake showed us with Laugh Now, Cry Later. Lil Nas is loving the horns so far. Very interesting, the Nicki reference. I wonder if he will get a song with her given he started as a Nicki Minaj stan. Again, it's like, it's rap, but it's pop, you know? This is what he does so well. You can sing along to this at the kids' disco, assuming your parents haven't seen the music video. But then we get to, yeah, Jack Harlow. It's, I love that friendship they have too. It seems very sweet, genuine, wholesome. I really like him on this song. I sent it back to her boyfriend with my handprint on her ass sheet. Industry Baby, absolutely gonna be one of my top songs of the year. It's uplifting, it's triumphant, it's funny. The music video was, man, I saw it and just fell in love with it immediately. This guy's so smart. We've come off the high, track four, that's what I want. Oh fuck, that's a good part. He's talked about like spending a few nights alone in the hotel room and that's where all the thoughts start swirling in. So no doubt, climbing that level of success, you want some people to, to hug, to have sex with, to do all the in-between stuff. Emotional connection, conversation's pretty important as well. It's just beachy, it's fun. To loving your body in a little bit of 
bit of your brain. What is that? Loving your body and a little bit of your brain. Is that brain or is that brain? I wonder. Like, brain? Or like, brain? <laughs> I thought it might end like that. Beautiful. We all want that. It's easily clear, relatable. The Art of Realization. This is like 24 seconds. This might be our first little like interlude of the album. For me, am I happy? I like that second. Oh. I know what's coming up next. This is one of the songs that he teased. Dun 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 dun. I bet you. Sure. Let's go. Understand, I'm just trying to be the day. Oh, <laughs> that's the line, man. That's the little snippet that he put out. That whole little section there, last bar. Come on, man, it's getting aggressive now. Tomorrow is my day off. All them rehearsals got me tight. Look at the pay. And here's how bitches want to rip they face off. Oh, I was waiting for that moment on the album. I'm not disappointed, man. This is great. Doja Cat slotted in very nicely. It's just good mm, 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 when he takes that bit on. It's funny, yeah, we're fully going like kind of, I've got feelings, just want to one night, feelings, one night. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of pattern at the moment, which, yeah, let's go. Give us the range. Let's get there. This one with Elton John. I've got to say, I'm not an Elton John listener much. So it feels like he's pretty tapped in though. I know he's got that radio show and I've, I think there's been even Aussies like Rule and stuff obviously had the Elton John shout out and he definitely is one to be like, hey, here's this young person, Rina Sawayama, that I'm loving check this out or here's Lil Nas X you know I'm loving that or he's not set in his ways I think which is which is cool um, so let's see how they've come together here I like this I don't like that do this here don't you do that tell me that you think you on top your last creation it ain't no town road Lil Nas X ain't I could be absolutely reaching, but that, how the production's just sort of like muted a little bit underneath so that it almost sounds a little bit like underwater. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of like that thing of his emerging from like all the Old Town Road stuff. Longest running number one song of all time. You've got haters, you've got people that are expecting so much as well out of love for you. Yeah, I suggest make another one like this. Yeah. Oh, he would have had so much of that too. Make another one like Old Town Road. Dude, just like that's because that's how meme culture kind of works, I think. Or at least with videos, he didn't just make another country song or blah, blah, blah. He's applied that logic of like, do what will get people interested, but it's true to him. I was trying to listen out for the Elton John at the end. That's why I look like I'm taking a shit right now. It's actually just listening out like that. Eh. Unless it's deeply layered in the uh, na, 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 that, that section, I think. Maybe Elton's just on here doing some famous piano work or, or helping out with the production and stuff like that. Um, huge get though. And, and such a, a compliment, right? That he's, uh, he's gone to Lil Nas, yep, love what you're doing. It's stripped back in a way where you can listen to what he's saying, right? And it's, it's this almost like this poetic, like he's telling you like a story, I feel like that one. It, I think a lot of people just go, oh, you're famous now, must be sweet. It's actually kind of like the opposite. Like you get thrust into, I would imagine, I don't know, thrust into, oh shit, now everyone's looking, what now? He didn't have albums on him, I think, when he blew up. So it's like, you're kind of starting from scratch to play catch up. And time's ticking, dude. Everyone would have been in his ear. The next thing, when is it, when is it? Capitalize. I think he talked about spending the pandemic, you know, being locked inside, crying and making music, crying and making music. He's just fully confident in exactly who he is now. I'm enjoying and I'm happy for the guy. Now we have Lost in the Citadel. Tell me. I thought my speaker was broken then. Down. Tell me, are you feeling down? Whoa, 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 all right. We're getting a little like pop punk or something. Let's just turn the clock back, Lil Nas. Oh, because he had the breakup, like after Old Town Road. That was what made it hard to make music and come about with that as well, because he had a breakup, I'm pretty sure. That's right, I remember that. You could play Call Me By Your Name live and then do this in the devil stuff. And I reckon, I reckon it would fit perfectly, actually. 
I love that little synth, huh? Oh shit. I love that little synth. Here's the pain behind the fame kind of thing. Lil Nas with the genre switch though. Here's the thing on this album so far, we've been around, we've been doing stuff. The guy's a pop star. Pop star, but the rappers still respect me. He told you that in Holiday, dude, in a Christmas song. Were you too busy rapping your presents or were you looking under his tree? Cause he tried to tell you. So Lost in the Citadel, there's a teaser up on his YouTube. And it's like the Panini music video again. That sort of, if you remember, that sort of futuristic city. And he's wearing, in fact, a similar outfit to that. Does it relate? Has he been painting this picture forever and we're just back in it, you know? Damn, he's in a pretty cool house as well. I'm really excited. I saw this was on the track list. Megan Thee Stallion. I feel like we're gonna get a rap song here. Will we get horns again? Lil Nas is the king of jumping on the horns, making it good. This is Dollar Sign Slime. All right, <laughs> already, let's go. Y'all said that I gotta say the truth. Thought I went pop, but I popped to you niggas now. I'm with the hills like I'm Babe Ruth. Uh, Bitch, I do not do labor. Uh, you know I don't got two major. Bought a new house for you wakers. I don't went and got new neighbors. We've had our low moments and they're beautiful, but of course, you need to celebrate these wins. There's so many wins to celebrate. He's not being apologetic anymore. Of course, on a surface level, it's like not wanting to be like, Oh, you know, yeah, my song was just a meme, like, oh, no, it wasn't, like, it was a fluke, I don't know, I bought the beat for, like, 50 bucks, it's like, it's, it's nothing, like, even with his sexuality, he's just not gonna be content with, oh, like, I'll just, I'll just let you know that, that that's who I am, but don't worry, like, it's not, no, it's like he's proud and he's doing it, he's making the music he wants and being exactly who he is. The whole music video for Industry Baby, it just flips what it traditionally has been. It's like, nah. I'm gonna be here with a full ensemble of guys naked in a shower room in the prison. I'll kiss someone if I want, I'll be naked if I want. And you know what? This is not niche music. I'm the same dollar sign slime. <laughs> Real hot girl shit. They can't stop me. Say I can't do it, bitch. Watch me. I just suck like a soul out then block it. Got more cream than a Sunday topping. Interesting Lil, uh, Megan Thee Stallion mentioning Stan. Lil Nas X started on Stan Twitter. I wonder if that, after listening back, I wonder if that's like a, a connect as much as I think it could be. But hey, Megan Thee Stallion loves him and goddamn, they're just a great match. Let's go. This is kind of like, you know, I remember in Rodeo actually, the Cardi B verse. Megan and Doja so far have like brought it a bit more. They've gotten a little bit more involved, it feels like. So yeah, cool, 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 cool. So Tales of Domenica, it feels like we're opening this dusty old book now. We're going into this fantasy world possibly. What Tales of Dominica does he have for us? Woke up on the floor. Oh, this plastic bed don't blow up no more. Yes, we are going back to, this is pre-Old Town Road, right? He was staying at, I don't know, a sibling's house, his sister's house maybe, and she was kind of like, listen, bro, it's about that time you might need to start getting the hell out of here. He's like, okay, please, 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 let me just like, give me one more shot. Then Old Town Road happened. Lend me from faith. Kind of like the, almost like the start of Call Me By Your Name, you know, it's like that little, that guitar, the same guitar, they've kind of taken some of the bones of Call Me By Your Name and gone, what happens when we strip that right back? He says he hopes that little bit of hope don't fade away. Maybe we wouldn't have even had Lil Nas X if it took a little long for him to blow up. That's the scary thing, you know? Is that stupid meme, man, where it's the guy digging underground and he's like this far away from the diamonds. Maybe that's actually real. <laughs> I thought it was just hustle guys that sent that like grind talk users. Hmm. This is a song for me that it's gonna be a certain mood that I pull it out, but I just love his story that much. I'm definitely invested in this song because I just think it's so incredible how he finessed what he did. So yeah, this isn't a radio hit but it doesn't need to be. Still only just barely over two minutes, two minutes and a half. He still kept that short, sweet, compact format, which is great for streaming, but it's also just like good for attention span. But he's not making every song like, how many can I get to be viral radio hits? He's still respecting with the album. That's how you know he gives a, gives a crap. Can I say shit? That's fine, right? That's how you know he gives a shit. Like, 
he could just be riding on the virality and just, here's a one, here's a meme, here's a meme, here's a radio hit, here's a radio hit, here's a little TikTokable song, blah, 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 but it means nothing. And who are you, who's going to invest in that? Eventually you get bored. We've seen that so many times with artists that we won't name that have tried that and, and it doesn't have sustainability. So thank you, Lil Nas. Knowing this song, it does feel like a sunset. He has done that beautifully. I've been feeling lonely, have friends, but they was picking on me. So he's felt that before Old Town Road, this loneliness and this like, oh, I might have this, but I don't feel this kind of feeling. Standing Nikki morning into dawn. Oh, there you go. Standing Nikki from morning till dawn by the phone. He was doing the Stan Twitter stuff. Only because I feel like I belong. Strangers make you feel so loud, you know. He's definitely talked about how it's only in the last 12 months that he's been totally able to own exactly who he is. That's now where he can make a song like this and have that before and after. Past mistakes and people who do dirt on your name. Man. That's a really sad song. You wouldn't know it if you weren't paying attention to the lyrics. It's kind of like, oh, a love song. <laughs> like, no, dude, no way. That's really, really sad. But also it's happy because shit, he's able to be in a position where he can look at himself and go, hey man, thank you for keeping on. Thanks for not going there. Then we have a song called Void. We're kind of letting the guy flex his vocals as well here, right? Very stripped back, and so we can really see that he's been working on his vocals. Trapped in the lonely, lonely life, looking for love around the night. Man, it's interesting. This might be about both pre and post fame, you know, because at first you're like, oh, running away from home. But then this idea of like every win means more room to lose, ups and downs on the ride, spending, maybe it's kind of yeah, a little bit of post-fame as well, because that is so like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Whoever in his life is telling him, hey, get off your phone, stand up, go to college, do this, you're, you're addicted to the thing, stop scrolling. He had all of those hours of study and experience and then he went hit, 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 hit. And every single one of these things, he's been himself every single step of the way. He has leveled up on this album though. He's just been working and working and working and those hours are showing in this album. Not only a step up in just being able to really own the song, but also the subject matter and he's able to talk to that experience is, it's cool. Don't want it. It's hard to say what this could be because the, the short songs aren't necessarily the viral bumper songs. There's the sad stuff too. Okay. The Reaper doesn't want it. We're, we're over this feeling now. We're into celebrating, empowering, living. Let's go. I smoke myself to sleep. I'm sad. I... Oh, okay, he's still sad. Hold on. We're, we're, we're celebrating though. You can have anything right before you Barely over two minutes, bang, done, done, done. Yeah, this is upbeat, it's fun. Da -na 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 -na. You can imagine driving, da -da 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 -da, like bouncing along like that. Yeah, I love that. And interesting, he's like talking a little bit about manifesting, I suppose, that he dreamt it and wanted it. As someone who isn't very like into the universe and manifesting and destiny and stuff like that, and maybe I should start making my passwords on my computer little um, affirmations. You got the devil, you got the reaper in Call Me By Your Name, the very first song. We get that, obviously, the, the, the devil and the verses and the biblical stuff. So it's something that he comes back to a couple of times. Sorry for burping. It's like, tell the reaper, tell him, that guy over there, I don't want it, and it's not happening, the devil's not here, blah, blah, blah. So, life after Salem.
The vocals kicking in. Lil Nas X has been working, and I think we're gonna get more pop punk Lil Nas X. Wow. Damn. There's no rules anymore. And Lil Nas X knows that. We're going back to the little pop punky kind of guitars, which are a lot more downbeat here. But who cares? Like, you can have that on the album. It's sick. Like, and especially towards the end, it's like a song where you're like exhausted. He's flexing on this album. He's showing us this side, that side, this side, this instrument, that instrument, pop, rap, something else. It's Lil Nas X's world and we're just living in it. Last song, Miley Cyrus. I actually kind of underestimated Billy Ray Cyrus's love for Lil Nas X. It was like taken off the country charts and there was that argument with that and Billy Ray went, all right, as someone that's a big figure in this world, let me show you, I back this guy and I'll make it eligible for the charts. Then it just blew up beyond anyone's recognition. I guess the cynic in me was like, oh, is he just doing this to kind of jump on a meme? But clearly not because I think he spoke pretty passionately about it. And here we have Miley on there as well. The Cyrus family loves Lil Nas X. I thought we might get a drop there into something bigger. We're staying, we're staying here. I shattered inside, but I still got a smile. Oh, never forget me. Everything I've done. Wow, never forget me and everything I've done. And then the splash. He wants you to think at the end of that, it's not this big bravado like, damn, I made it. It's like, we're staying in that territory. I suppose over the pandemic and since he blew up, he's had a lot of time to be thinking about the concept of fame and like how it can be so fleeting and transactional. You can be hot here for this, but how do you maintain it? Which I think he's really doing successfully against so many people's prediction. You know what, I, I think when I saw the Miley feature was on there, I thought it might be a bit more cheeky for some reason. But she jumped on the Kid Leroy's, she jumped on this in a similar kind of like, let me just give you some singing chops. No attitude, no like kind of <laughs> wink and a tongue out. It's, it's pretty genuine and just sort of down the camera. After the Megan The Stallion song, we don't really pick it back up much. Sun goes down, the sun goes down on the album. I know he, he said that like a lot of the times it's when you finished all your press and all your whatevers and you're back at home and it's night and you're alone. That's when everything starts churning. And I think in the album, the sun goes down and then these are all the thoughts that he's been having at night. Yeah, he really hasn't shied away from giving us that side of him on, on the record. Favorite song so far? in order of appearance first listen i reckon the album starts real fun yes montero dead right now industry baby that's what i want beautiful then we get doja cat flawless then we get dollar sign slime and you know what i'll put sun goes down in there as well like that's gonna be a funny one i reckon because it's so summery coming into that with america there'll be people driving like yeah the sun's literally going down take a pic but then also the lyrics are kind of the lyrics so that's going to be a funny one to hear i can feel myself listening to don't want it in the shower as well it's kind of like a short burst of speed to pick me up that we need so yeah those are the standouts so far that i'm instantly hooked in and let's see how the others kind of sit after a few more listens yeah first impressions you can hear the growth it's so good um, plenty of really fun hits, which I was really hoping for from Lil Nas, but also that deeper side to him, which I think is, is really interesting, the backstory. I'm so invested in his story, man. And it doesn't feel too cheesy to me as well, those moments. It can be very easy to be like, when did you think you were alone and like the whole world was against me? I looked in the mirror and I couldn't feel anything. Like, but he, he doesn't do it in a corny way. Honesty to the bone, authenticity to the bone, from start to finish. Congratulations, Lil Nas X. That's not easy to do. 
It really isn't, considering the weight of the world being on him. All that success, all those awards, so many people would have been like, can't wait for this MF to drop and to fail. This is gonna be a laughing stock. There's genuinely people that would have waited for that and thought that. I think he did it. Definitely. So yeah, I'm happy. Yeah.